Hey everyone, Felipe here, welcome to another Tarot Saviors card review video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the new Madhead Original Transmigration card, Gifted Machinist Dolak. This is going to be a Dark Machina card, and it has dual active skills, both at CD6. Their effects are the following. For the first active skill, we have tap two runestones to turn those rows into runestones of that type, including the effect of race and enchanted runestones. For one round, Dissolving attribute of runestones, the character will launch an extra attack of that attribute. If all Machinas in the team have 100% fuel upon skill activation, this skill stays in play for one more round. For the effect 2, it's basically the same effect, however, instead of converting rows, you are converting columns into the runestones of the selected type, but for one round, you get an attack of 3.5 for the character, and the character's damage will be dealt regardless of puzzle shield. Same thing when your fuel is 100% for all Machinas in the team, the effect will stay in play for one more round. So, in my opinion, this is actually a really good card, and the active skill is actually pretty good as well. CD6 is pretty standard, pretty fast, uh, especially for a conversion skill as well. However, the flexibility that you have on deciding which runestones you want to convert is going to be really powerful. For example, if you only have one water rune in the board but you need more water runes you can always tap the water rune and get more water runes that way and you also have the flexibility of deciding if you want to dissolve or if you want to convert the row or convert the column by selecting which of the active skills you want to um, select you also have extra attacks of that attribute so if you activate this skill and dissolve all five attributes Dolak will actually be able to break those annoying 5 attribute attack shields, which in my opinion is one of my biggest headaches whenever I am building teams for uh, stages. So having a Machina that can actually launch attacks of 5 different attributes is going to be really beneficial for the team and have really good utility as well. So in my opinion, definitely a good card to get. You also get a self attack increase and can also deal damage regardless of puzzle shield. Keep in mind that there are two different active skills, so you also have the option of activating both on the same round. As opposed to having a two choose one effect, this card can actually have two active skills and you can activate both in the same round, and you can generate both rows and columns of the selected attribute. So if you wanna load up on a bunch of attacking runes, you can convert two rows to columns and launch a really big heavy attack. Or if you need to generate um, Five, attribute, um, 5 attributes for your 5 attribute attack, then you can always choose which attributes to convert and make sure that your board still has all 5 attributes without converting them away. But in my opinion, I think as a free to play card, um, granted you do still need to uh, finish the transmigration stage, which typically are a little bit on the harder side, but we will be posting walkthroughs for those stages. Um, for a free to play card, I think these active skills are actually pretty beneficial and have really good utility for uh, team building. Uh, but yeah, if you don't get it, it's still fine. There are still many options out there, but as a Makina utility, I think it is going to be really welcome for Makina teams as well. Uh, because like generating, ro uh, generating runestones can also help you build fuel. However, if it takes you that long to build field there is a small problem because cd6 you should have already built 100% field by then uh, but yeah the fact that you can also benefit from this effects for two rounds instead of one round also really good uh, and normally for makina teams you want to get to 100% fuel as fast as you can so that means that normally your fuel will already be at 100% and you will be able to benefit from these effects for one extra round, and that is going to be really powerful. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty solid card and definitely a card worth getting in your inventories, especially because it is going to be a free-to-play uh, farmable card. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this card. Please let me know in the comments if I said anything wrong or if I missed out on any information. And as always, stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more Tower of Saviors content. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.